It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking the Pythagorean theorem in the coordinate plane. Here's our question today. We have triangle PTU that is shown on the coordinate plane. You're asked, what is the length to the nearest unit of segment TU? I'm going to ask you to pause the video now, solve, and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we're going to first identify that we're finding the length of segment TU, which is right here in our coordinate plane. So we know that we have this one segment, the side length. So what we're going to do is we're going to force a right triangle because anything in the coordinate plane, all of these vertices can be extended out to form right angles because all of our coordinate planes are right angles. So anytime you have a right angle, of a triangle, you can use Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem applies to any right triangle to find the length of a missing side. Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b form the legs are the triangle that form the right angle. So we have our right angle here, so a and b are the legs that form that right angle, and they correspond to this in the Pythagorean theorem. C is the hypotenuse, which is directly across from the right angle and is the, always the longest side of your triangle. So because we're in a coordinate plane, we can count and find the values of A and B. You cannot find the value of the diagonal by counting, but you can of these legs because they align to the coordinate plane. So we're going to count for side A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So side A is 6 units long. Side B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units long. So because we know A and B, the legs that form the right triangle, we can come and put those into our Pythagorean theorem. So A would be six squared, B squared is seven squared, and that will equal C squared, which is the missing side, that segment TU that we're looking for. So let's square our values. Six squared is 36, seven squared is 49. Now we're going to add 36 plus 49, which is 85. To solve for C, because we know that C squared equals 85, we're going to do the inverse of square, which is to find the square root. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. So the square root of C squared is C, and using your calculator, the square root of 85 is going to be about 9.2. One more step here. We're asked to go to the nearest unit. So that means we need to go to the nearest whole number, because this is 0.2, it's less than 0.5, 0.5 or less, we round down. So because we're going to round down, we know that the nearest unit, segment TU, is answer choice C, 9 units long. So there you have it. That's how we use the Pythagorean theorem in the coordinate plane to find a length of a segment that's a diagonal line. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.